Hi fro folks. <laughs> Today I want to do a review for you of this bag here, the Life Behind Bars Echelon, a 32 liter medium sized bag, and talk about uh, some of my favorite features for you. And the way uh, I like to do a bag review is focus on the design features that I find useful in my user experience, rather than go through every detail of the bag. Um, because you can usually go to a company's website and they'll have the descriptions and uh, maybe a video describing the bag uh, features. And if you go to this company's website, Life Behind Bars, they have a very nice video, well produced, with some nice background music in it, uh, that goes through all the features of the bag. But what I, I want to offer you today is what features I found pretty useful in my experience and what it's like using this day to day. So the product is the Echelon uh, 32 medium messenger bag. And the reason I went with the messenger bag um, was I was using a backpack for bicycle commuting. Uh, I decided that I wanted a messenger bag because one, it's easier to get in and out of. Uh, it's more ideal for riding a bike. Um, and the other thing is I wanted something I could carry packages with on the exterior of the bag. And messenger bags are better for for that sort of thing, for carrying packages um, and picking them up. And so I wanted to be able to pick up uh, and drop off packages uh, during my work day without having to drive a car in, because I'm trying to you know, ride my bike as much, much as possible and not make any excuses for not commuting on my bike uh, or, or going about running errands. So that's one of the main reasons I got the bag. And it also offered some stock features that I would have had to custom order uh, and pay extra for with, with some other companies and bags. And so that was another reason. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna focus on the design features I like and the philosophy behind why I got this bag and, and just those highlights rather than go through every detail. So let's dive into, let's dive into the features that I think are, are most useful, I found pretty useful. And the first one's pretty obvious, pretty simple. It's just this carry handle on top. And, you know, you, you see some messenger bags and they just don't, they don't have a carry handle. And it's great for just moving across the table so you don't have to do this or do that, or just moving it across the room, you know, just, just that sort of thing. And, and so you don't have to throw it over your shoulder. Um, and so that's pretty simple. Pretty, pretty, pretty stupid common sense, but sometimes you see messenger bags and they just don't have this on top. All right. Another thing, like I mentioned, that I really like about this bag is this dual shoulder carry system. So this allows you to carry the bag on both shoulders, and also you can switch the main shoulder strap between uh, each side, your left or right shoulder. And this thing, this, this other shoulder is in the middle of the bag, but when you put it on, it, it goes on, uh, it lines up nicely with the opposite shoulder. So let's just demonstrate real quick. Let's put this on. Get it all ratcheted up. You got this buckle here, these swivel buckles. And like I said, this is another detail this company does well, is they just, they're able to focus on these little details that maybe another bag didn't think about. Um, so, and then you got to bring over this other shoulder. So there you go. You know, you got both shoulders, you know, they're all strapped up. And it allows me to distribute weight between both shoulders because I'm getting older and um, my left shoulder's got quite a bit of wear and tear on it from playing sports. So, uh, you know, to be able to, to move this strap over the right shoulder, the main strap to the right shoulder, because most bags, they, they seem to come left shoulder. Um, they seem to come with the main strap on the left shoulder. And I imagine that's because most people are right-handed and they want a little bit more freedom of movement. I don't, I don't know why companies do that, but I can switch it and I put it over my right shoulder, which I prefer, and I bring this over and I can distribute weight like a backpack. And that's just, you know, th that's a great feature. And it's off the shelf with this bag. You don't have to pay extra for it. And that was a real appeal to me. So, ah. Uh. So the other thing I really like is the strap carry system. And I can externally carry packages of varying sizes and shapes on this system. And let's just demonstrate quickly with a box. Um, oh, and these, 
magnetic buckles. This is another little detail. These things are, these things are great. I can do this. I can do this all day, but I shouldn't. Okay, so let's just demonstrate this carry system real quick. With this box here. Put it on. And get the main straps over it. And these straps, it really starts to max out the straps a little bit with a box of this, this width. And I actually created my own external carry uh, extended straps for larger boxes. You can do that if you want. So you, you get the, the main strap buckled down and then put these side straps in it. The side straps, they just allow it to stay more stable uh, when it's carrying on your back, you know. So, that's great. That's just, you know, to be able to carry boxes on the external of varying sizes and get it secure on the sides, that's a great feature. And, and some bags, they don't offer like the side carry strap stock, which is one of the reasons I really liked, uh, like, was, was attracted to this bag. The next thing, I'm going to strap some more objects on it later, but first I want to go through some of these internal features I really like. So, yeah, you've got your pockets here, and you know, a variety of pockets. And, uh, that, that's all nice. And this zipper one here, this, you can enter this front zipper pocket by either side. Yeah, isn't that great? And so, when you're carrying it, so, regardless of what shoulder you carry it on, you're able to easily access this front pocket. And that's just a nice little feature. This pocket here, this is probably better if you're carrying like electronics and stuff. You put it here because it gets coverage from the flap a little more so than the sides and you can prevent water from getting in. Um, you know, this, this outer fabric is 900D polyester. It's got durable water repellent. And of course, you've got this inner TPU liner that's waterproof and any decent messenger bag should have some sort of TPU or tarp liner that's basically completely waterproof. It would take you know, a whole heck of a lot of rain uh, to penetrate this if you're out, if you're out riding. So now the, this laptop pocket, it's got a laptop pocket inside and you know that was another feature I liked. It comes with the laptop pocket uh, off the shelf and it's on the front of the bag rather than the part that sets against your back. And this is this is very clever because it prevents the laptop when it's inserted from mess from poking into you or messing too much with the shape and carry of the bag. Because if this laptop is against your back, it's gonna make the back very rigid. Uh, it's gonna make you sweat more if it's hot outside because it's just gonna be pressed right against your back. Uh, and it's also got potential to poke, just poke you there and just be annoying. Um, so yeah, having the laptop in the back or, or the front of the bag here, that's that's you know another little detail that is uh, carried out very well by this company like Behind Bars. So you know, and then a couple jackets in here to give it shape, and see the liner and a little Indonesia flag. And designed and built in Indonesia. So let's let's have some fun here and strap random objects on here. Let's start with uh, let's start with this mat. There we go. We got a nice foam mat. Use it for yoga, taking naps in the park, whatever. And it's this thing just. It just eats it up, it just swallows it up. Isn't that nice? So, you're doing yoga after work, at lunch. This will do it. Let's do a jacket. You know, that's something pretty common. So, here's a rain jacket. This is a bit of a thicker rain jacket. And it just, yeah. yeah it just disappears. You can barely tell it's there. Alright, so got that. Let's do let's do a thicker jacket. Here yeah, we can even do let's do my winter jacket. And yeah, it's these magnetic buckles. They just yeah, they kind of almost buckle themselves. So it just okay, here's my winter jacket. I, you know, I probably would never carry my winter jacket 
because it's cold and I'd be wearing it. But maybe there's a 20 degree difference between morning and the evening. So maybe I carry the winter jacket home instead of wear. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's carry more bags with this bag because I'm a bag freak and I have 17 different bags. Um, so here's a little backpack, you know, let's say you're riding over your buddy's house and then he's gonna drive to a trail and you're gonna go for a hike. And so, cause it's easier, you know, when you're walking around, it's easier to carry a backpack than, than a messenger bag, let's be honest. Uh, so yeah, you get to your destination, you wanna carry a little backpack, here you go. Also, you, let's say it's a carry-on for a flight and you wanna take a backpack with you when you're at your, you know, whatever, destination you go to, you want to walk around town, just strap the backpack to the outside. Eh, isn't that great? Yeah. And because you're screwing around having fun, here's a bigger backpack. All right. Here's a 50 liter climbing backpacking pack, which Mr. Ranch Skepter, and this is just, this just eats up. A 50 liter backpack. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Alright, that's enough. That's enough fun with the what showing what you care. Oh, one more. It's just you can carry stuff in these bottom straps here too. Um, and it's great for your sort of long thin objects like this poster tube. So or maybe a pair of trekking poles. Uh, your softball bat for the softball game. I, just something like that. All right. So one thing I want to discuss is the, uh, the materials and build quality. Because maybe you're a little hesitant because this is a, a company you may not be familiar with, Life Behind Bars. By the way, that's handlebars, not jail bars. I'm sure you figured that out. So... You know, if you look at the spec sheet, the materials are a little different than what you see in your sort of commonly uh, made in USA uh, messenger bag. The exterior is a sort of 900D, is a 900D polyester. The interior is a uh, three millimeter TPU liner. And when you look at a lot of the commercial messenger bags, you see a thousand denier nylon, you see 18 ounce truck tarpaulin, um, uh, YKK zippers and uh, those sorts of specifications. And so on paper, it seems a little less robust, uh, m usage of materials. But in my case, I'm a bike commuter, not a bike messenger. And I was, you know, looking around different companies, different products. And one of the reasons I got this is because the stock features, you know, this carry system, the dual shoulder strap, the stock features were, I could get those without having to pay extra, get it custom made, um, being able to switch the shoulder strap. Those, those are all features that came stock on this and that really appealed to me. And the other thing with the materials is I'm not a bike messenger, I'm a bike commuter. I'm only on the bike about an hour a day, whereas a commercial bike messenger, you know, they're gonna be on it at least a few hours a day. So they're gonna have a lot more wear and tear. I just didn't feel those absolutely bomb-proof materials, uh, I, I didn't think it was necessary. And not to say these are not quality materials. Like a 900D polyester, you have to try to wear that sort of denier out. You know, you gotta be dragging across the ground just for shits and giggles and, uh, and, and you know, poking things with it, I don't know. It takes a lot. And for peace of mind, you know, the, the bottom fabric is a little bit different. It's a little bit more of a, uh, abrasion resistant, puncture resistant, uh, sort of rubbery dealio here. Uh, so, so, you know, rest assured. The, those sort, that's another little detail well thought out rather than just the, the, the polyester on the bottom. And so these fabrics, I think they're gonna hold up, they've held up well for me as a bike commuter. Um, and I think this company markets towards bike messengers as well. So, you know, maybe they'll hold up for a bike messenger. I don't know. I don't have experience to tell you that. But for me, as a bike commuter, in my usage gauge, the build quality, uh, the materials, they're holding up. Another thing I wanted to mention, build quality, uh, you know, if you just you just look at it and you examine it, you can tell this is built well. You know, the sewing's reinforced where it needs to be reinforced. 
I haven't seen any rips, tears, and I've put packages that are like 10 pounds on the back of this thing. And that's pretty heavy for a, a backpack that doesn't really have a frame. So it's holding up uh, with, with that sort of commuter wear and tear I'm putting on it. Uh, and I can tell that it's made, made well to a good quality uh, from just examining it and using it on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, let's talk about where this product's made, designed and made. It's uh, made in Indonesia, designed in Indonesia. And, you know, a lot of uh, bike messenger bags of good quality, they are made, uh, they're made in USA, made in Canada, European Union. And, and those, you know, and so you might, we might have a tendency to favor that sort of thing. But this, this bag is made well. Uh, you can tell this company paid attention to what they're doing and making sure it's of a good quality. And so just because something is made in Indonesia, made in East Asia, uh, that doesn't mean it's a bad product. You know, people all over the world can make quality products regardless of where they're from. And what that also allows them to do is offer lower labor cost, maybe get a little bit cheaper materials to produce this at a lower price point than your Made in USA bag. And this probably costs one half, um, if not more of what a Made in USA messenger bag is with all these features. So that, that I, you know, the price point was attractive to me, but ultimately I got it because it had the features off the shelf that I wanted in a messenger bag uh, for bike commuting. So if a Made in USA company offered those sort of things off the shelf, I didn't have to pay custom, you know, maybe I would have got one of those. But, so, you know, the point is, it's made in Indonesia, it doesn't mean it's a terrible product. It's quality made. It's got good stuff to it and good features. All right. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you making it all the way through. <laughs> you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I don't know. If, I don't care if you do or not. You know, like me on the other social medias, even though I don't have other social medias. It's, uh, I, I, you know, you're probably like the 13th actual person to watch this because... This is like my third video, uh, and I have no followers, and I'm just doing this because I like to talk about the bags for the other bag freaks. So I hope, I hope you other bag freaks like this. Uh, Life Behind Bars Echelon Messenger Bag. I like it. Maybe you'll like it. I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you later.